like to take this time to thank all of you for coming to the meeting tonight and for all of you out there in Facebook land. We thank you for watching the uh, Rockfish Community Volunteer Board meeting. The community meeting. It's not about what we do, it's about the community of Rockfish. So if we begin, let's stand and give a pledge of allegiance to you. Let us begin our pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the Republic, which stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. May be seated. Well, we always recognize our special guests, and all of you are special. Thank you for being here. Uh, I know it's, we're in tough times, but we continue to move along. But before we go any further into the meeting, I'd like for us tonight, uh, as we begin with prayer, is we remember Claudine and E.T. I understand that she was in the hospital. I don't know if she's out now, but I understand that E.T.'s at home, sick. And they've really had a lot of stuff going on in their family. Sickness. So we need to remember them. And tonight we need to remember Brownie. Brownie's daughter passed away last week, Patty. And we need to remember Brownie. I talked to him just a little bit this morning, but Brownie's having a tough time. We need to remember him. I've always said this and continue to say it. If it wasn't for the things that Brownie done and has done, we would not be where we are with this community as moving forward. You said his daughter? His daughter, Patty, that worked over here. Yeah. So she was real sick, but she's better tonight. So, and I know we got, thank the Lord for Mike. Mike is back. How, how long has it been, Mike? Over a year. Over a year. He's been gone. Also with cancer. Yeah. So the Lord has blessed him. So let's go to the Lord in prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this time. We thank you for letting us gather together to talk about things of the Rockfish community. Father, we thank you for the things that we've done. Father, we ask tonight that you just touch E.T. and Claudine in a special way. Father, we just ask that you bless Brownie, be with him and his family and their loss. Father, we just know tonight that Patty is okay. She's in a better place. But Father, bless us as we tend to your business for the community and for the advancement of the community of Rockfish and all these things we ask in your name. Well, we're going to start off with uh, just an update on the uh, cleanup. We were supposed to have a cleanup back in August, but we couldn't do it. But we've got one scheduled for the 9th of uh, October, and that will be the fourth drive this year because we have to have four a year because we adopted a highway, State Road 1406, uh, from the intersection up at uh, Pittman Grove all the way down to Walter Drive right beyond the nursery there, that's part of what we adopted. And you have to do four trash drives or cleanup drives a year to report that to the state. So that will be the final report that we do on the 9th of October. And uh, Brian will be creating something on our page in regards to that. We'll meet here that Saturday morning at about 8.30, and we'll work a couple of hours. I've noticed that some of the trash lit up as far as stoves and refrigerators and all the heavy stuff has kind of lit up a little bit. Uh, and I have noticed that our Sheriff's Department is beginning to patrol more on Coots Road more than they have been. Uh, they've picked up quite a bit and we have not had any of the heavy stuff thrown out. So that's a good thing. So don't forget the 9th of October at 8.30 right here. Uh, other thing, uh, our traffic lights seem like folks are beginning to get used to them, but some folks are not. Some folks are not getting used to coming to a complete stop down at the end, down here at uh, Lindsay and Rockfish, but the state has not ruled out what they're going to do. I talked with them last week, and they're still in the process of making a decision what they're going to put down. It's either going to be a flashing red light or a flashing light and come to a complete stop. It's going to be a four-way light coming from both everywhere. So they haven't ruled out what they're going to do, but they're going to do something. Uh, 
I was supposed to have a report tonight from the Sheriff's Department in regards to the number of calls that they received at 911 for our community regarding vandalism, break-ins, and that is still going on. They have a big problem right in front of our house in the last development down there on the left. There was a lot of young men going in yards at nighttime because I saw it on Facebook. Wearing hoodies, trying to open the car doors. Uh, they're up to no good at that at that time of night. Does anybody have anything up here they want to add to that? What I, about the vandalism and things of that nature? Any of y'all have anything you'd like to add about the vandalism and the cleanups and things of that? I, I just had a question. I don't know if um, you'd be able to help me with this. You know, we live in the, you know, Brock House or Brock Square Park yeah. in the gas station. And the other night, I was looking online trying to find, I didn't want to call 911. I wanted to call the non-emergency number. And I couldn't find a non-emergency number. And I didn't know if I was calling Rayford Police or Hope County Sheriffs. Or I, at some point, um, I was looking in the center for the area to call Hope Mills Police. And I didn't make the call just because I wasn't exactly where to call. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. I don't know if they have that uh, 875 That I think that's a non-emergency number. Yeah. Or if you do call 911, tell them in the beginning that it's a non-emergency. Yeah. Okay. You said 875-5111. Uh-huh. Okay. And who actually is that? What, what that's the sheriff's department. That's the uh, uh, Hope County. 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 Okay. And they have that's 24 hours a day. Yeah. Yeah, I had spoke to the sheriff a couple of three weeks ago in regards to the number of calls that they receive from the community of Rockfish. And he has a printout of all that, but he's evidently he's that they've gotten bit, they've got a lot going on out there. They forgot to put it together. And while we're talking about the sheriff's department, and I know that some of the folks are on Facebook, look, what's it been, Janice, three years since they put the satellite out here? They put the satellite at the firehouse. And the understanding was that deputies would be out and in periodically. It didn't say that a deputy was going to be stationed at the firehouse. And I think some people have misinterpreted that. Now, I might be wrong, but the way I interpreted that is a deputy, if he was in the area and needed to do paperwork or needed to, to follow up on some things, he was going to use the satellite to be there, and if somebody comes in and needed assistance, he could help them. But I understand that we have several people in the community, and I will not call no name, that they think that the deputy is supposed to be posted down at 24-7, but there's no way. There's deputies in Rockfish all the time. Might not be at the firehouse. Might not have no reason to go, but they use that office periodically to come in and do paperwork, if they know somebody's coming by to get a gun permit, paperwork, they're there to keep them from going to rape. So I hope that whoever's on Facebook and they know who they are, that that will clarify the question that has been circulating in the community. Because somebody called me to ask me about it. I said, well, it wasn't set up to be uh, mandated by the sheriff's office 24-7. Now, you'll find the ambulance people, they're down there all the time. Not unless they get a call and they have to leave. But that office is just for a deputy to come through periodically, be there. Uh, maybe one day it'll get to the point where you have to have a deputy out there all the time. There will have to be a deputy. And that will come sooner or later. So, you know, uh, I just want to clarify that. Yes, ma'am. And another thing I'd like to say is in reference to the Sheriff's Department, people are so fast to say, it took them 15 minutes to get here or 20 minutes. And it's on Facebook. And it, it, even on Facebook this last week, when our sheriff was 
talking about talking to the community stuff to lock your cars and stuff. And because his grammar in one place was not the way they thought his grammar should be, you should read those comments. And the thing about it is, a lot of people don't know, there are 14 people, 14 deputies short in the Sheriff's Department. Yep. You know, when you get a call and the man is up on the up close to the Moore County line, he's got to come to Rockfish. He can't be here in 10 minutes. And like Janice said, they're, they're short-staffed. And they are hiring. Yeah, and they are hiring. They have job fairs. So, you know, uh, it's open to anybody that's got the qualification. And the sheriff will entertain if you qualify. And I'll say this about the sheriff. He's, he's a professional. He's top-notch. He's brought Hope County up to standards to where it's never been with law enforcement. To me, he's he's one of the best. He's done a super job. And he, and he supports our community, him and his staff. I think he's doing a good job. And somebody made the question, said they never seen the sheriff out, out here. Well, he rides through. I've seen him ride through. He, he'll ride through. You don't know what he's driving, but he'll ride through. I saw somebody the other day pull, and it won a sheriff's car they pulled. It was an unmarked car. They've got some unmarked cars that people don't know about. So I think uh, I think he does a good job, and I think they should be commended what they do with the situation that we're in. One thing I did fail to mention about the sick in our community, Junior Cummings. He runs uh, Junior Cummings Landscaping Lawn Care. Junior's in more regional than COVID. Very sick. He is some better. Junior was raised in this community, right down below T.C. Jones's. Arnold Cummings, his son. And we need to remember that family. Because they, they've had a tough go. They've lost uh, three or two in the past four or five months. Junior's a hard worker. He is some better. I've kept up with it on Facebook. He, he's, he's improving just a little bit, but we, we, we need to remember that. I failed to look, let Dawn have the floor and read the minutes from the last meeting. From the last minute, minutes, when we had to talk about the beautification, the break-ins, the widening of the roads, the traffic lights, in honor of Mr. Larry Chaser. I'll never forget. <laughs> I'm still very humble. I have to put that one in there. <laughs> uh, I just, I, I, people ask me about it, and I, I, I don't know what to say, because I'm, I'm very humble. Really like very humble. Things. And my brother say I can't keep a secret. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good job on that one, I have to say. I can say she kept one secret, but I had no earthly idea. Okay. Now, what about the uh, money in the treasury? We're still holding that three fifty. Now, does that subtract the flower that we yes. got? Okay. We got a flower for Brownie's daughter, and I had the receipt in my bank from the community volunteer. Okay. I have a couple of things that I'm going to share, and then Dawn's got something, and then each one of the, the members up here has got a couple of things. Um, we're going to have a VFW fundraiser and membership drive on November the 6th right here. And we want to attract all the veterans of the community. Going to have free hamburgers and hot dogs and drinks. They're going to have material on the VFW. And they will accept donations. This is an organization that I feel like that we need to step up to the plate and and help them as much as we can. So we'll be, next month we'll, we'll be inter putting more emphasis on that, but we'll have a flyer made, made, made up and we'll publicize it on the page, Rockfish page, and we'll put it in the news journal and we'll circulate stuff in the community. Then the next thing we'll have will be uh, Christmas with Santa on a Saturday night, the 18th. 
And what time does that start, Dawn? Six o'clock. Six to nine. And we're working on something now to get somebody that's going to take some pictures, and we'll have the pictures if they want to want a picture. You know, we'll if they want to make a donation towards our community or a donation towards the man coming and take the pictures. He's not going to charge it to you. Uh, and also, Dawn, you tell them about the haunted house and about the donation of candy. Okay, as we did last year, um, <clears throat> again, this year we'll be doing our trunk or treat. Um, we are looking at October the 30th, which is a Saturday. Um, but we'll do our trunk or treat. We'll have the haunted house again, doing the cakewalk. Um, we're looking for volunteers that would like to come out and help set up and pass out candy, or if they'd like to donate some candy, would be greatly appreciated. Um, a little, you know, a lot of get to the point where they're not having a whole lot of place to go so we had a pretty good crowd last year and I think it was really amazing I was really excited and uh, they were sad to say they weren't able to see Santa this time because they were all had heard about that so I'm hoping that we'll be able to do that this year maybe he'll arrive uh, and yes and Miss Claus is going to be around also so yeah this always it's always a, a, a very happy and fun time and trying to do everything for giving back to the community. Um, but, and then also during the, uh, our trunk and tree, of course, we always do our pumpkin painting. We'll have pumpkins for the children. They can paint them, decorate them, and they get to take those home. And that's uh, free for the kids to do for their, um, also for that. We also, we do a, a costume contest for the children. I think, do we do a little girl and a little boy? Yeah. Or do, yeah. Or first and second place or something like that? That's what it was. I think we did that. Last year we kind of threw in the adults. We'll see how that one goes. We had some adults, we, some of us uh, big kids, we like to dress up and have fun also. So, And uh, it's just different little things like that. So we're really hoping it'll be really nice and, and go off like it did again last year. And uh, taking all the safety precautions that we need to do again for this year as we did last year is very, very important. But um, anything that anyone can do that wants to be able to come out and help set up, pass out candy, come see every all the little kids. It's really fun. And also, we get these little pets also. i got to make sure I get doggy bones this year. Yeah, yeah we'll have a reminder <laughs> about next, in, in next yeah. month's meeting about it. What are the hours? Now, on usually, when, what time did we start that one last year? What's that? For our trunk or treat. Um, we started at Six o'clock. When does the time change? I think it start, I think we started six. We can start it at six. We'll say I know everybody was sitting out there kind of waiting to get in. Well, I think we had a crowd. Whatever we crowd did. people we here did. last year. Oh, um, I think those children went without candy all summer. None of them get candy here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we did. We, we were able to get uh, passed out a lot of candy. We really did. But it, it's exciting. It's fun to do. We enjoy it. And uh, we hope that uh, everyone that was here last year will come back again this year. Um, again, you know, that'll be October the 30th. October the 30th. October the 30th. Okay. And don't forget, anybody that would like to give a donation, just buy some candy. Well, she'll have a box down here, and we'll fill that box up with candy. Yes. Yeah, it takes, it takes, when you do it for the community, it takes quite a bit. <laughs> but we love doing it. I it's a lot it. of fun. We have a lot of fun. Okay, Mike, you got anything? about you. Thank you. I'm just happy to be back. <laughs> the um, Hope County Collaborative for Children met last night, and we are going to do our third annual toy drive, holiday drive. Um, for Christmas last year, we identified, with the um, help of social workers at all the elementary schools, we identified a family at each school. Um, we were able to provide food and um, toys know items for their holiday season for Christmas and um, this year we would like to try to do two families from each school so um, we're up on our goal up in our ante um, we need businesses that will allow us to put boxes we're gonna wrap them and, and label them boxes will go out November 1st uh, and then we'll collect until December 10th 9th or 10th we'll pick up boxes so asking for help, asking for businesses to allow us to use your locations for um, drop-off and the community to help support these families. Well, I think we can contact the businesses that we have in this area and see if they'll let us do that. 
But in return, we'll go to Rayford because there's several businesses that I know that I know you can put boxes in. And well, if they won't let you put a box, they'll write you a check. Yeah, donations accepted, boxes, um, you know, we're, we're excited. This will be our third year. And if we need help as far as helping families, I've got a point of contact I can share with you. And you, I'll let you call the young lady and tell them what you got. <laughs> Anybody have anything they'd like to add? Well, I tell you what, uh, we've covered a little bit of stuff tonight that I, I feel like is, is going to be uh, beneficial to the community. We still have some things that's going on. Uh, wait to hear from the state about what they're going to do at the end of the road down here. <clears throat> Waiting to hear what's going to happen to the old store. I don't know. I don't have any control of that. I don't know anything about it. I just know what I hear. But uh, some good things are coming. I just appreciate everybody's support. But I want to thank y'all for last month. It was very humble. I never thought this old country boy would have something like that. Don't make me no more better than nobody. But I just fall back on what my parents sit in for in front of us. Work ethics. We gotta work. I take a lot of pride in my work. Even if it is, it's some people, even if it is, Jimmy. We pick up trash on the side of the road. We take pride in it. Don't we? And I've seen him drive his tractor with a trailer, and I'll drive my lawnmower with a bucket with a trash bag. And we do it, don't we? You wouldn't believe what I picked up. That's right. Just the other day. That's right. You. Somebody told me they passed the house the other day. They said, I, I haven't seen no paper out there yet. And I said, well, uh, I made my rounds, but I noticed today there's some. I'll make it tomorrow. At least two times a week down Rockfish Road. Yeah. And the closer I get into Rockfish, the worse it gets. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? What, what really is to me is the fact that when people throw out trash and then the, the mowers come along, they don't pick up the trash. No, they ain't going to pick it up. It makes it worse. It's in one piece of a thousand That's pieces. right. But it's not as bad as it was. Yes, sir. I just, sorry, I have a caveat I just thought about, and I apologize if we get some size because this is beating the dead horse. Um, but the moving of the gaming establishment across from the Christian school and the religious establishments there, I thought I read the other night on Fayetteville Observer something about the sheriff working with the Department of Justice. He was, uh, he was to meet with the district attorney district last attorney. week, and I don't know the outcome. But I do know, isn't this one up here on the corner closed? Yeah. And well, I moved. seen the car up there today. And there's one on uh, Club Pond Road somewhere in Hope County that they closed because it was too close to a church. Cause that, yeah, that's the one that moved right to where that um, the, the seafood place is. And where the, what is the, what was that club called? The venue or yeah. whatever. That guy, he has his, he's washing cars there now. Well, you know, he, he said building. initially he was having birthday parties. Yeah. But sure. now that one has all the lights that say skill games and open and it's moved right there. Well, you know, there's right not, there's not so the much that the sheriff can do because the courts has got all this stuff. Yeah. But I, I feel like in time things will work out. And I know it's a concern for you folks that stay in Rockfish. I mean, it's dangerous. Right across the street. You know, you would have thought that something would have took place when, the, when they had the fatality and rape, but it didn't. But, you know, we just keep on hoping and praying that something good's going to happen. That's all we do. No further comments? Well, we stand dismissed. And thank you all so much for coming tonight. God bless you. Write this number down. This name. Give me